Child, tuck yourself in bed and let me tell a story of Lemuria, a long lost kingdom and a girl born for glory. In Austria was a crown land ruled by a duke. Aurora was his daughter, child of a duchess mysterious. No doubt you've seen pictures or videos of a watercolor RPG platformer called Child of Light. You've probably wondered what it is and whether or not you should invest both the time and money to purchase this new game by Ubisoft. I'm here to say you should, and here are my five reasons why. What probably got you looking at this game in the first place was the artwork. Yes, this game is beautiful. In fact, beauty is probably an understatement. The watercolor style and intricate attention to detail sets this game apart from most, if not all, other platform RPGs. On top of this, the music is one of a kind. The soundtrack adds to the atmosphere and the piano numbers work to convey the feelings of helplessness and hope that is your adventure. It's a refreshing piece of artwork. This is the Rembrandt of platformers. Its bright colors, excellent use of shadows, light, sound, and beautiful character models help to set the ambiance in which you will inevitably get lost. Sure, lots of games look good, but this game has the mechanics to back it up. From the way you move and control your characters to the strategy that goes into fighting, this game not only controls well, but has the depth which helps to create a unique and joyous experience. Flying around and exploring the world is a joy and using the right joystick to control your sidekick and solve puzzles is stimulating and rewarding. The turn-based combat is of particular highlight. You control members of your party who specialize in different skills, using them to complement each other and kill your foes, all while your trusty Firefly sidekick can be used to both heal and slow down your opponent. All of this combines for a strategic experience missing in many other turn-based RPGs. It's a great new take on an old genre, and it not only works, it excels. Whimsical. This is the only way to describe the characters in Child of Light. You play as Aurora, a princess who fell asleep and awoke in the magical land that is Lemuria. As you go through your journey, you meet the inhabitants of this land who beseech you for help and join your party. Each adds a different dimension to the strategy you use during battle but all are interesting, whimsical, and delightful. Each character you come in contact with helps portray the sentiment that you are helping and actually making a difference in the world. They each complement the other and add to Aurora's vitality as the main character. Every time I play, I leave feeling that I have learned something new and as a result, grown more attached to each of these fabulous characters. But what are characters without a good story? Child of Light has it, and it's a heartwarming story of family, friends, darkness, light, and the relationship between a father and daughter. This is not just a fun, fantastical story, but a beautiful statement of life that plays on the imagery of the moon, the stars, and light. It explores the relationships of families which can be seen when at one point Aurora, explaining what a father is, is asked, what do fathers do? And she replies, they tuck you in at night. If you like touching stories that tug at your heartstrings and leave you wanting to spend more time with your family, then you will love the story here. Finally, on top of the many reasons to buy this game, the price is yet another. For $15, you get one of the most unique and beautiful games we've seen in a while. This game could easily be double the price and still be worth it. So at $15, this is a steal and a must buy in my book. If you like this or any of our other videos, please check it out. Hit the like button below, subscribe to our channel, and have fun with Aurora in Lemuria.